Hey everybody, as always, I hope you're doing well out there. Today I'm going to be showing you a quick video on how to use the altimeter on your Sunto Core watch. Now I'm using the Sunto Core Alpha Stealth model. It doesn't matter which version you've got. This video should work the same for everybody. I'll also say I'm just going to go through the basics of how to get to your altimeter and what you're looking at when you get to your altimeter. I'm not going to go into things like uh, using altitude difference measures, anything like that, just the basics of the altimeter. So first and foremost, like everything on this watch, it's pretty basic. You've got three different modes. You can see down here at the bottom, I'm currently on the time mode, then there's an altimeter barometer mode, and then there's a compass mode. To toggle between all of those, all you're going to do is press the middle button on the right hand side, and you can see instead of time, now I'm on altimeter and barometer. Now this gets a little bit tricky on this watch. You'll notice that the barometer is underlined on my watch face which basically means I'm in the barometer as opposed to the altimeter. If I want to switch to altimeter, I've got a couple different ways to do it. If you're on the altimeter and barometer screen, you're just going to press and hold the bottom left button, or if you're on any other screen, you can basically press and hold the middle button, your menu button. But I'm just going to press and hold the bottom left button, and it's going to take me into my altimeter and barometer settings screen. Then I'm just going to use the down arrow, I'm going to go to profile and I'm going to press the middle button on the right, which is my menu button. And I'm going to change it from barometer using up or down to altimeter. Now there's also an automatic setting here. Automatic means the watch will determine whether or not it should be using the altimeter or barometer based on certain values that it's getting from those sensors. So if you want to put it on automatic, you can, but you got to remember that even in automatic, it still might be on the barometer. If you want to specify, you're just going to get to altimeter press the menu button to select it. Now I've successfully changed my altimeter barometer profile and I can go back and instead of looking at the barometer, you'll see that altimeter is now underlined and we're looking at our altimeter. When you're all on your altimeter, it's pretty basic. You've got your current time up top, then you've got your elevation in the middle, depending on feet or meters, whatever you've got the unit set on. I've done some videos in the past that walk you through switching those depending on if you want feet or meters. You've also got a couple different views. You'll notice down here at the bottom, I have nothing turned on for my additional view. But if I wanted to, I could press the bottom left button and I can look at my log. So if I was doing an activity and I wanted to start and stop a log recorder so that it can track changes in elevation, I could do that on this screen and I can just press the start and stop button whenever I'm ready to start and stop the recording. And if I don't want to see my log, I can also press the view button and I can see my elevation changes, the altitude difference measure between what my current reading is and what was my previous measure from the log set point. I can press the view button again and I can look at the temperature using my thermometer sensor or I can go back to having no view on at all. Once you're done with your altimeter, all you have to do is press the menu button to get to your different screen. So now I'm in my compass, press it again, I'm back on the time mode. It's very simple, really the only key here is it's one of your modes and if you wanna use the altimeter, you just have to have the altimeter profile turned on, just press the mode button and go to it at any point, check your altitude.